Hey guys, I'm back here with my iPhone 4 and I'm basically going to do an overview of iOS 5 as well as let you know some of the features that came out in the new iOS 5.0.1 update yesterday, November 11th, 2011. So let's go through this. First of all, when you're in your home screen, if this is a cool feature, I like this one. When you double click, you not only have your song play up there, but you've got your uh, camera option down here. So all you gotta do is click the camera, and you're automatically to your camera. And best part, for safety reasons, when you exit the camera, you are not in your phone, which is a great feature. The iPad recently had some of those issues where using the smart cover you could get around the key code on the iPad and they obviously did not forget that in this phone. So when we open up the phone here you can see you've got your normal home screen you double click there's your normal multitasking but what's new pull down from the top yes you've got notification center some may say this is stolen from the Android devices. It is very similar to the Android devices and any notifications that you have will pop up here. I can show you, you go to your settings right here and if you go notifications you can choose which notifications will show up in the notification center. You go Facebook here, you can tell it what kind of notification to do and the what kind of badge to have which is a great feature also you can see right here the banner there is no more when you are playing an app or watching a video your video will not be stopped by a big message in the middle of the screen saying new text message now it's just a little roll down on the top of the screen and that's gonna just go along you can click that roll down and there you go so you exit out of here you have your normal stuff over here. Since this is not an iPhone 4S, we do not have Siri, unfortunately. If you hold down your home button, we just have standard voice control, unfortunately. But that's what Apple does to make you keep improving their devices. So you go back to here, there's your search. Another main feature of this device is that when you are syncing there is wireless syncing which is a great feature for many of us that don't like plugging our phone into our computer and basically your sync icon will pop up beside your Wi-Fi or 3G icon and that is also allowing you now to use your phone while you are syncing which is a great feature because many of us knew that while you're syncing you cannot use your phone or it will cancel your sync basically the sync icon would pop up there if you've recently updated to iOS 5.0.1 your sync icon is now gonna pop up over here by your battery that's just one of the small little things they did and speaking about battery iOS 5 had the original issue of draining your battery a bit fast because of some of the features involving the iPhone 4 they've fix those problems in iOS 5.1 and that's no longer an issue so I hope you all have got the new iOS by now because it's about time you get it if you haven't and just to mention any of you who tried to update the first day you would know that Apple's servers were lagging very much which all of us hate lag right and it was very hard for many of us to update our phones. Some people even got locked out of their phones because they couldn't restore their phones once they went into recovery mode because they could still not contact the iPhone servers. And guys, that's just sad. But what can you do? You can see right here, Apple stocks, $384 a piece. Like, how can you beat that? <laughs> Anyways iOS 5 there's many new features for us to go over still you can see up here you've got newsstand and no I don't have any newsstand things because I'm not going to buy any because it costs money 
and basically magazines, newspapers, all that great stuff, it's going to pop up here, automatically update for you. Great feature in this. And then, if I can remember where I put it, you've got reminders. Reminders are another great feature, especially since they feature lo um, location-based reminders. This is a smart move on Apple, especially since, say you're at the grocery store, or you're at home, whatever. It will remind you when you're leaving or arriving at some place to, oh, say, pick up the milk or pick up the eggs. All that great stuff. Another thing that you can't see on here is iCloud. It's a great feature with the device, and really, it's something that Apple, I think, has perfected. Five gigs of free storage with iCloud. Find my iPhone features free. Like, how can you beat that, guys? Seriously, Apple has outdone themselves. This software is a great device. I will probably be posting a link at the end of this video where you can go to Apple's official page and view all 200 plus changes to the iOS device. Hope you guys enjoy this. Have a great day.